Today we're gonna to be looking at a product that just came in the mail and I haven't seen any reviews for it out there, so I'm actually thinking that I'm gonna jump on the gun here and be the first one to get it out. So this here is the EVGA Powerlink, which I was actually sent for free along with my purchase of a GTX 10 series graphics card, although there was a $10 shipping charge that was added in there. What this claims to do is so you're able to clean up your cable management for your graphics card. While some people like to have the cables going straight up and down into a slot in the basement of their case, some cases don't have that, and this will make it a lot easier to make that look pretty. So we're gonna start out by doing a quick unboxing, seeing what's in here, and then we're just gonna try and install it in my case and see how it goes. All right, so we're just gonna open up the box here and see what's inside, and let's pop open the box, which actually is nice packaging. So it looks like inside here we have our instruction manual, which we probably won't need. We should just be able to pull that out. This, that's just an Allen wrench in there. That would be your six pin connector. So the idea behind this is that it can work on any graphics card because it comes with two eight pins and then one six pin here. And these can also slide around. So I guess these rubber pieces are supposed to come off. Yes, yeah, so that gives you access to your bolts in there. Okay, so you have to put the Allen wrench in through here to loosen this up and then you can slide them through so that it can fit on any graphics card you have because most graphics card either have a eight pin or an eight pin and a six pin or two eight pins. This should stick right into there. Unscrew this, loosen it up a bit. And does that slide or do we have to do both sides? I think we have to do both sides. Yeah, now this can slide, it can actually, it can rotate. Oh no, it just comes completely out. So we're gonna see right now I have the EVGA 1070 Super Clocked Edition, which only has one eight pin in there. So we're gonna see if we can get one of these out and then line it up with that graphics card and pop that in. Okay, so now that we're all done with that, I think that the first step is going to be to pull out our plug up here on our graphics card to take a look at that. And we're gonna try to line this up well so that we know where to put it. So if we stick this into there, and then just kind of roughly line that up where we think it'll look good. Personally, I think I like it right up against the edge there. So now what we're gonna do is take this in, find the bolt, and tighten that down. And we'll pull it back out here, tighten the other one down. Sorry, I should have added that I had the bolts in here loosened before I lined it up there so that I can slide it around freely. And so what this does is this essentially acts as a pass-through. So your it plugs into your graphics card here, and then it gives you plugs on the side here. So essentially, it's as if your graphics card had a plug on the side. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, and we're just going to plug it in right here on the very farthest to the last one, which should be easiest to cable manage. So I, I don't know if the camera caught that because it went out of focus. It's just plugged into that last one there now. And so what this also does, if you have cables that have two 8 pins on them like this, and your graphics card only needs one, this takes care of a lot of that problem because now this can be plugged in here, and you can tuck this one back behind the front of your case. So what we should be able to do here, we're gonna undo our cable management so we can move some things around. And now we should be able to pull this through so that second eight pin is actually completely hidden from the front there. And now the last step is just gonna be to plug that in there and then tuck this wire back behind. And as you can see now, there's no graphics card cable there. Although I will admit that it does seem to make my graphics card sag a little bit more than it was originally. I think that it looks a whole lot better cable management wise. And so now if we cut back to a wider shot, excuse my boom pole in the, in the way and the tablet on top, you can see the cable management in the computer looks so much better. The only cables that are visible are the ones running directly onto the motherboard. We don't have that nasty one kind of hanging down. So I think this gives a much, much better appearance overall to the computer internals. So honestly, I have to say that I like this product. If you look at it, it really, in my opinion, looks so much better than it originally did. Especially with those cables that come with the power supply originally, they really don't look that great. And some of them have the ketchup and mustard colored ones on there, while mine happen to be black, but they could be even worse than that. And so if you have cables like that, I would really, really strongly recommend this if you wanna make your computer look a little bit better. Although if you couldn't afford a few extra dollars for a nicer power supply or some nicer cables for that, I doubt you're gonna be able to afford this. Right now on their website, it looks like they're gonna be selling it for $30, which I assume comes along with another $10 shipping charge. Although that might have just been for the people who received it for free with their graphics cards, the EVGA doesn't lose money on that. If you bought this during the time when EVGA was offering one of these free along with your purchase of a graphics card, then I would strongly recommend picking one of these up because $10 is going to be a lot cheaper than any sleeved cable that you're going to be able to find out there to make your power supply look better. While the sleeved cable puts emphasis on the cable, this kind of makes it subtle, and I don't really think that the cables should be the main attraction in your computer, especially if it's water cooled or something. Once you have cables and tubing in there, it really can get very dense, and I uh, personally, I don't like the look of that. So I'm actually going to be keeping this in my rig because I really do like the way that it looks. If you bought a budget, a 1050 Ti, 1060, even a 1070 for some people that can be considered a budget. I really think that this would be a great addition to your setup. And even if your case has one of those routing holes right below the graphics cards, a lot of times graphics cards can be at different lengths. And so that cable is not going to be going perfectly straight into the basement of your computer case. And sometimes it'll be at an angle and that can look really funky depending on how you have your computer set up. And I think that this can make the entire thing look better, even if you're in a budget case. If you have a case that doesn't have a side panel window, I wouldn't even bother with this. There, there's no point. It's not even worth the $10 shipping if you're not going to be looking inside your computer while you're using it. But if you have a nice window, 
window or a tempered glass if you're really fancy, then really this, this adds such a subtle touch that I think is going to make your computer look a lot better. Now, is this the most revolutionary and amazing product I've seen in the world? No. Is it the best cable management product I've seen in the world? No. However, this is innovation. This is thinking differently. This is a cool idea from EVGA that they put out to manage their cables. And honestly, from the computers I've seen, the cable going to the graphics card is the most overlooked cable from in terms of what you get sleeved and what you don't get sleeved, most people get the 24 pin and the 8 pin there. And a lot of times they'll forget the ones going there if they're not running it directly down to the basement. And so this is a great idea. I really love what they're doing. I think that $30 might be a little bit expensive for this. And honestly, I don't know why it costs $30. It's a piece of plastic with a pass through through it. You can buy an 8 pin cable for less than $5. But I really also like how they've added the functionality to be able to use it with any graphics card. This can work with any graphics card from EVGA, I'm fairly certain, and I, there's a good chance that it'll work with any other graphics card you can find out there, too, as long as it's got front-facing ports. Having the uh, function to be able to choose anywhere from 6 to 2 8-pin connections and any mixture of them in between is really good thinking on EVGA's part. If you ever decide to upgrade your graphics card, you can keep using this and you don't have to buy another one unless they some t somehow add, like, 3 8-pins in there. I think if they're charging $30 for this, they could have very easily added an RGB element into it, which would have been really cool. But is this worth 30 or 40 potentially with shipping? price premium that they're asking for it? No, honestly, I think that you're better off getting a sleeved cable. You can get some sleeved cable sets for cheaper than $40, so I don't really know where EVGA is shooting in their market with this. I think that the biggest market for it is for the people who are getting it for free with only the $10 shipping charge. Ultimately, it's up to you, though. If you don't really care that much about the looks, don't even bother with it. If you want to make your computer look a little bit better while spending a little bit more cash than maybe you would necessarily for something to make your computer look better, then I would encourage you to go all out and get this. I see no reason why this isn't a product for you.